Hey guys, welcome to Alzheimer's Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is seventh video of our scripting edition. And I know that I'm posting this video after some time, but guys, I was really busy with something. So let's start. And in today's video, we will talk about until loop. If you remember, our last video was about while loop. And this video is going to be about until loop, the third loop in batch scripting. And it's pretty much similar, similar with uh, a while loop so let's take a look how until loop works so for until loop we will use the same syntax as while loop like we will apply let's say uh, give some uh, let's say the word what oh, sorry the word until then give it some condition in the break uh, in the braces like this condition and then if the condition is true it will do some or like do some action so that's how and then the uh, word done so that's how it's going to do so just uh, let's take a look and you guys will understand I have prepared like three examples so I hope that I would be able to explain you guys in a proper fashion so first is let's call it um, first or until uh, one dot sh okay so the same way we are going to use our shebang header as bin bash and then let's call it counter and let's counter let's make our counter to 25 and then what we want to do is I just want to uh, like run this counter in a fashion in a way that it will display until uh, it's equal to zero so that's how you will understand it properly so until until Uh, the counter is equal to zero space what I want to do I want to equal counter is greater than zero okay and that's it done oh okay we need to sub, uh, like counter minus minus so every time a count it counts it subtracts one out of it so that's a very very simple example of until like until the counter is equals to zero echo this line like counter is greater than zero and of course the counter will be replaced by specific number or digit so let's try to run this chmod plus x until 1.sh okay and if everything goes well we will have our running script okay something is not fine and just a minute Mm -hmm. yes we forgot to add a space here okay so there we have it so and it's like it's telling that 24 like it started from 25 actually let me less out here 25 is greater than 0 24 and up till 1 1 is greater than 0 it's perfect so our until loop worked perfectly fine okay and again just take a look at this until loop so what it was it saying is like I uh, declared a variable named counter and it's equals to 25 and until this variable or 25 is equals to 0 like at the moment it's 25 but until it's equal to 0 
do echo or echo this thing like this counter is greater than zero and counter minus minus or subtract one digit from the counter perfect so this is first example so in our next example what we are going to uh, see is that how basically we can make a guess game or it's a very very simple it's not even a game it's a simple program and you'll just understand it's I just want you guys to understand how until loop works because it's mo uh, like in most of the uh, websites or places uh, people are seriously they are unable to make it clear how this until loop works so let's create a very simple program or script vim guess.sh okay or until guess let's call it until guess same with bin bash okay and now i'm just going to echo guess the name okay i'm just okay. I'm just asking a name and it will read a name and then what I want to say until okay name mother variable name which it will read is equals to because this time I'm comparing a string so that's why I used equal equals to equals to Salmon do what you can say that until this name is equals to uh, salmon i can see that like equal name is not correct okay and break and done so what this is saying is guess the name like it will ask you this question guess the name and and it will what it's going to do is so basically in this script uh, we can see that first it will ask or ask the name or you need to guess the name and it will read this like name whatever you will type the name and until this name is not equal to or it's saying that until this name is equal to salmon it's not it's going to echo name is not correct okay and then it will break why i'm using this break statement because if i will not include this statement uh, the loop will continue forever first we will try to use this break statement and then i will remove this break and you will understand that what do i mean with with this statement so let's just make our uh, script executable okay so chmod plus x with until guess dot sh and let's run this script so guess the name okay first i'm going to write it pings it's just it pings it not correct and the program just uh, exited what if i'm go if i write my name so again let's type the re correct name and it never um, went to the second line or never echoed that it pings it not correct or salmon is not correct because the uh, program ran successfully so let's see if let's try to run one more time until guess and this and this time i'm just going to give another uh, name let's say linux and it's, it will say that Linux is not correct, so it exited the program. So let's go back to our guess uh, program. And it, here, I'm just going to remove this break statement, okay? So what? let's see what it will do. Uh, like, it will ask the game, like, guess the name. It will read the name. And until the name is Salman, what it's going to do, it will run this... Um, statement like echo name is not correct uh, like forever but if uh, the name is salmon it's going to 
stop that or go out of the loop because it fulfilled the requirement so let's see first until guess okay so moment of truth let's give it a name salmon and it should work it should not run the loop perfect what if I give it a wrong name let's say guess the name and I add Linux okay so there we have it an infinite loop and it's not going to stop until I press control C so that's why we use break statement let me go back until guess and add this break statement over here so this time if I give it a wrong name it will just give me Linux is not correct and breaks the loop perfect so this is this was the second example of our until loop okay so now I'm going to show you another example so and this example is going to be um, an until loop with that conditional statement okay so we are going to combine until loop with the conditional statement okay so it's again it's going to be a very simple example but I hope you guys will have a clear understanding that how we can combine the conditional statement with the loops so let's call it cond until dot sh okay so starting with the shebang header bin bash okay echo what is your name so read name and I'm going to declare a variable name r and it's equal to my name Salman so now if I'm just going to add if name r or sorry name is equals to name r so here is the condition that if name which is this name this one and if it's equals to this name name r what it should do then echo dear name your name is name you can do anything with it and here are the results okay so it's it will show the results okay if name is not correct else echo sorry you are not authorized to view the results okay and it will exit so what it's saying I'll just explain you in a moment and then it should basically exit from the loop okay and then we have this count equals to 10 another variable I just declared and until the same uh, example if you remember from our first example the same as counter if count is greater than zero uh, do echo oh sorry less than or equal to zero count is greater than zero you can type anything and let count 
okay and done so this is our conditional and loop um, combination so what it's basically going to do first of all uh, the script is going to ask for uh, like what is the name and then it will read the name uh, here let me just a minute here first it will ask the name then it will read the name and if name we have de defined here a variable called salmon and if this name what you're going to give if it's equal to salmon then it will echo like dear name your name is name and here are the results and it will then give you the results like it will go to this loop and it will start counting else if the name is not equal it will just uh, apologize the user saying sorry you are not authorized to view the results and it will exit the uh, condition so let's try to save the changes and ch mod plus x cont and let's hope our program works fine what is your name so let's give it a wrong name my name is Linux let's say and perfect it said sorry you're not authorized to view the results and it exited what if if let me run the script again and this time I'm going to give it my name is Salman okay I think we did some mistake let's check it's line 16 and 18 okay count hunt oh yeah again the space here to echo okay let's run the script okay again Linux that's sorry you're not authorized and now Salmon okay I think missed what are we missing? Count until count less than or equal to zero do echo okay, okay. yeah here is the issue this one okay again let's call it bingo sorry you're not authorized to view the results and now this time I hope it should work perfect so here we have it dear Salman your name is Salman and here are the results and 10 is greater than 0 9 is and up till 1 so this is how we can combine until loop with the conditional loop okay so last but not least but the main okay let's take it to another video where we are going to see how we can use until loop to monitor the size of the file where if the file if the file size exceeds a specific size it's going to send an email to the root user so please do subscribe to my youtube channel and i would like to thank you for viewing